Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos presides over the meeting of the Council of Ministers and greets Omani citizens on the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty the Sultan affirms the Sultanate's keenness to cooperate in supporting dialogue and understanding amid nations. His Excellency the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth takes the oath before His Majesty the Sultan. With royal blessings, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said presides over a ceremony honouring the competencies of civil service and administrative development sectors in the GCC countries. And the tender board floats the tender to complete the Adam Thumrate dual carriageway and awards the tender for adding the third and fourth lanes to the existing Our Sail Bidbid Road. Those were the headlines. Now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos presided over the meeting of the Council of Ministers at Beit al Baraka. At the meeting, His Majesty the Sultan greeted the Omani people on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. He prayed to Almighty Allah for many happy returns of Ramadan, along with plentiful bounties and blessings on Omani citizens, residents, and the Islamic nation. Then His Majesty reviewed several issues. On the domestic front, His Majesty the Sultan expressed satisfaction with the progress made in the Sultanate's comprehensive development. While commending the rates of growth achieved so far, His Majesty the Sultan reiterated the importance of providing a suitable climate for attracting further investments, local as well as foreign, particularly in free zones, industrial estates and economic zones, noting that such investments should take into account the need to preserve the livelihood of Omani citizens. Upon his review of regional and international developments, His Majesty the Sultan underscored the Sultanate's constant stance and continuous keenness in cooperation with efforts aimed to support dialogue and understanding among countries to ensure the security and stability of people. At the conclusion of the meeting, His Majesty the Sultan touched upon a number of issues of concern for the country and citizens as he gave directives to all institutions of the state to exert more efforts to enhance their roles in promoting the domestic development march so that it could realise its desired objectives. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos wished all parties and individuals success in advancing the prosperity of Oman and its loyal people.
before His Majesty Sultan Qaboos, His Excellency Dr. Hamad bin Saeed bin Suleiman al Afi, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, took the oath at Beit al Baraka. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos sent a cable of greetings to His Majesty Naruhito, Emperor of Japan, on his assumption to the throne. With the royal blessing of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Syed Fahad bin Mahmud al Said, Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, presided over a ceremony honouring the competencies of civil service and administrative development sectors in Gulf Cooperation Council countries. During the ceremony, 30 leading administrative figures were honoured by the GCC Civil Service and Administrative Development Order, five from each country, in recognition of the efforts of the civil service sectors in the GCC countries to achieve the aspirations of their majesties and highnesses to enhance areas of comprehensive Gulf development and maintaining the gains achieved. His Highness Syed Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said stressed that the government is keen to not let the fluctuation in global oil prices affect citizens. He added that the matter of oil prices is influenced by a number of factors, including political and economic, to take into consideration. The Education Council, in its second meeting of the year, reviewed the implementation works related to the Education Lab, in addition to a book related to the Education March in the Sultanate. It also discussed holding a forum on the role of endowment supporting education and its funding. The Council also directed the Ministry of Higher Education to study a proposal on generalising the the programme of young explorers for a number of government and private sector higher education institutions. The meeting was headed by His Excellency Said Khaled bin Halal Abu Saidi, Minister of the Diwan of Royal Court. At a cost of over 139 million Omani rials, the tender board awarded tenders for projects and additional works for a number of development projects in various fields. Such projects include adding third and fourth lanes to our Sail Niswa dual carriageway and constructing a proje protection dam in the area of Al Jinain, Jifnain in the governorate of Muscat. The board, during its fourth meeting, also got acquainted with the procedures of floating tenders for three packages of Adam Thumrait dual carriageway. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Rashid bin Al Safi Al Harabi, Chairman of the Tender Board. The Ministry of Transport and Communications announced that the tenders for the completion of the Adam Thumrait dual carriageway, which were floated by the tender board, include three phases, starting from the Walaya of Haima until the Walaya of Thumrait, at a length of around 400 kilometres. The Ministry added that the work is moving at an accelerated pace in the first and second phases of the Adam Thumrait road, with around 318 kilometres completed and starts from the Walaya of Adam until the Walaya of Haima. It is worth mentioning that the Ministry has already opened 41 kilometres of the Adam Thumrait Road for traffic. Their Excellencies, the Ministers of Commerce and Industry in the Gulf Corporation Council during the 57th meeting of the Commercial Corporation Committee in Muscat approved a joint meeting with Gulf entrepreneurs and innovators. They also reviewed the initiatives and innovations by entrepreneurs for small and medium enterprises in addition to the proposal putting up a law that protects the rights of authors and the latest developments in competitiveness law. 
The meeting also focused on a report by the Federation of Golf Cooperation Council Chambers on evaluation of golf industrialist conferences and exhibitions that are held on the sidelines. The meeting was headed by His Excellency Dr Ali bin Masood as Sanadi, Minister of Commerce and Industry. The Gulf Cooperation Council Supreme Military Committee concluded the consultative meeting which was hosted by the Sultanate of Oman in Shafak Club. The meeting discussed promoting the achievements of the military cooperation and methods to develop them within GCC Joint Cooperation Framework. The meeting was chaired by Lieutenant General Ahmed bin Harith al Nabhani, Chief of Staff of the Sultan's Armed Forces. The representative of the GCC Secretariat General thanked the Sultanate of Oman for their continuous support for the joint GCC military cooperation. The meeting reflects the GCC leaders' desire for further military cooperation between GCC countries in a manner that achieves stability and security in the region. Still to come in our news bulletin. The celebration for World Intellectual Property Day concludes under the theme Reach for the Gold, Intellectual Property and Sports. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The first National Geographic Information Seminar discussed the latest information technologies in the development of works and procedures of land management. The event was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Saif bin Mohammed Al Shabibi, Minister of Housing. Our reporter Salah bin Kalfan Arabi has more details in the following report. The National Center for Statistics and Information organized the first symposium for the National Geographic Information System. The seminar aimed at introducing the governmental bodies, the private sector, and the academic community participating in the National Geographic Information System, GIS, to the latest trends in business development using modern GIS techniques. With this uh, uh, contract, this is mean we reduce a lot of cost, we have a lot of the benefits, People can, we can use it as a building capacity, it can be used as a shared data, it can be used for the college, schools, and everybody can use those, uh, uh, the software uh, without paying any money for that. At the symposium, the Unified Government Licensing Agreement for GIS programs was launched. In addition, the event also included a session dedicated to the education sector and academia, entitled geographic information system in the education sector, which focused on the use of GIS in education curricula in schools, colleges and universities. Our technology will be made available for every single department within the Omani government. Uh, ESRI uh, developed technology called the ArcGIS that is uh, widely used uh, by the Omani government and uh, many departments within the Oman government. Our technology is used for planning, for uh, for planning, for project management, for decision making, uh, for crisis management, and uh, and so on. The symposium reviewed the latest developments in spatial information technologies to highlight the role played by GIS in automating the procedures of various government sectors in the areas of land management, smart city development intelligent planning for transport and communications, and intelligent infrastructure services. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh bin Khalfan al-Rahbi, Muscat. The Royal Air Force of Oman held a graduation ceremony for a new batch of recruits. The ceremony, held at Gala Air Base, was presided over by Major General Salam bin Masalam Qatan, commander of the National Defence College. The new batch graduated after finishing theoretical and practical training programs at Sultan Qaboos Air Academy. The graduates performed a military parade, slow and normal march, accompanied by the music band of Raffo. After that, the chief guest distributed appreciation prizes for the graduated officers.
Royal Oman Police received a new batch of recruits within the framework of citizen employment to qualify them to serve their country. The receiving of the new batch goes in line with the government plans to provide job opportunities for nationals and offer a better and extensive police service, along with spreading the umbrella of security and stability in the country. The new batch of police recruits passed all physical tests and written examinations and will undergo the necessary military and police training programmes at Sultan Qaboos Academy for Police Sciences in order to prepare them to handle their duties as policemen. The new recruits are holders of special and general education diplomas. The celebration for World Intellectual Property Day concluded this year under the theme Reach for the Gold, Intellectual Property and Sports with the participation of 30 inventors from the GCC area. The event aimed at encouraging innovative and creative ideas and to turn them into useful tools for the community. Participating in such events offers a platform to showcase prototypes that can make their way into the market and offer the innovators and creative individuals the chance they need to meet potential customers and financing agencies that can help them in turning their ideas into services or products that benefit society. Under a strategic partnership between our Royal Newspaper and the Ministry of Commerce and Economy, Oman In-Country Value Forum started under the theme Roadmap to Spread Economic Benefits. The forum aims at exchanging expertise and experiences regarding developing effective business plans for local companies and setting a roadmap for strategic implementation of in-country value applications. Stakeholders from major industry sectors like manufacturing, pharmaceutical and electricity have participated in this major event. The forum discussed omanization, training and means to secure more jobs in the market as well as methods to develop more capable small and medium enterprises. During the forum, PGO presented their experience in the successful application of ICV and the challenges facing the company in applying ICV programs. The High Judiciary Institute in Niswa in the Governorate of Adakalia organised a symposium entitled Electronic Blackmailing Between Awareness and Criminalisation under the auspices of His Excellency Hussein bin Ali Al Halali, Public Prosecutor. More details in the following report by Salah bin Kaufan Al Rabi. Under the theme Electronic Blackmailing Between Awareness and Criminalisation, the Higher Judiciary Institute in Nizwa organized a symposium to discuss the reality and challenges of electronic blackmailing in the Sultanate. The Higher Judicial Institute is mainly responsible for teaching and training um, judges and members of uh, public prosecution. However, in addition to that, the Institute organizes like these seminars from time to time in order to raise the legal awareness of the society on issues that are very well connected to the society. This symposium is focusing to the blackmailing here in the Sultanate of Oman. One of the famous problems we, we are facing here uh, uh, between the youth here in, in Sultanate of Oman. Uh, we would like to uh, reducing uh, the uh, uh, crimes here in, in, in Sultanate of Oman uh, by uh, spread out uh, the legal awareness and uh, to teach the, the person, the internet user, uh, how this uh, kind of problem is happening and what is the solution of this uh, problem. The participants shed light on the importance of raising the level of awareness among members of society about the safe use of modern technology and social media channels, in addition to the legal aspects if such technologies are misused by individuals. Uh, the main point for prevention of um, blackmailing, of, of especially for uh, children, uh, how to prevent the crime to happen from beginning. And uh, awareness or let us say prevention programs to the children, uh, it's very important because the impact of the uh, blackmailing, it will be, it have a lot of psychological, social and uh, criminal or let us say legal um, uh, impact. The discussions of the symposium focused on the causes of electronic blackmailing, 
highlighting the role of the family and non-judiciary entities in raising community awareness about the dangers and the psychological and social consequences of this crime. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Salah Bakalfan Rahbi, Adakhaliya Governorate. Now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds late at night and early morning over the coasts of the Arabian Sea. Winds will be north to northwesterly, light to moderate. Seas will be slight with a maximum wave height of one metre. is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos presides over the meeting of the Council of Ministers and greets Omani citizens on the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty the Sultan affirms the Sultanate's keenness to cooperate in supporting dialogue and understanding amid nations. His Excellency, the Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, takes the oath before His Majesty, the Sultan. With royal blessings, His Highness, Syed Fahad bin Mahmoud al Said presides over a ceremony honouring the competencies of civil service and administrative development sectors in the GCC countries. And the tender board floats a tender to complete the Adam from Rachel carriageway and awards a tender for adding the third and fourth lanes to the existing Our Sail Fitbit Road. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night. <laughs>